Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and it's Workbench Wednesday. Uh, today I picked up a Delco Remy three-wire alternator that I got out of my buddy's garage. Uh, we're fairly certain that it worked when pulled, but the main reason I got it is because it has the older V-belt drive on the front here, which I can just wrap that belt from the lawnmower that goes up to the self-propelled part up to this and get it running. I have some ideas for adapters that I've kind of mocked up here, and I'm probably going to drill a hole into the motor deck of the lawnmower and then get my rotary tool out and cut a notch out of it right there. That way they'll have a, a strong one here, to, uh, a strong bolt here to pivot on, and then a slot so it can move back and forth and tension the belt. And then I have a piece of metal just sitting over here that I'll use for a cross brace on the back of the alternator. That way it doesn't uh, try to wobble and torque itself off because it's going to be sitting up pretty high on these two posts here. But the main thing I need to do today was wire it up. And I started out, I put a ground wire on it. As you can see the, the black terminal here. And this would go to the uh, negative lead on the battery. So I'll just set that off to the side. And then you have these three wires right here, which make it a three wire alternator. You have your main power lead, which this goes directly to the battery. Um, a safety cutoff is probably a good idea. A circuit breaker is probably another great idea. Or a fuse, just put a, a good old fashioned inline fuse in it. But you have this going down to the battery. You have the indicator lamp and the field energizer circuits on the top here because there's an internal regulator in this. And number one, which is the indicator lamp, uh, there's different ways you can bypass it so you don't have the indicator lamp. But I figured, why not just put a bulb in? I mean, this is how they were meant to run. And uh, this would probably be the equivalent to your... Uh, your battery light in your car, like if you throw your alternator belt or your alternator goes out, the battery light comes on. That means the charging system isn't working properly. So there's the idiot light right there. We can plug that into number one here. There we go. And then plug this, uh, the other part of the bulb, or the other terminal for the bulb, We'll just plug that in down at the battery, or actually we can just plug it in right here. And there's that right there. And this is going down to the battery. And the other one that we have is number two, which energizes the field. And I had a neat idea for this that we're gonna try out, is I have the connector right here. We'll plug that in. We have a toggle switch, and then this goes all the way down to the positive of the battery to grab the field. It also senses the voltage, and uh, when the battery gets up to a certain voltage, it cuts off the, the alternator's power. That way it doesn't overcharge the battery or anything like that. Um, I think the best idea would probably be take, uh, probably to take these two and put them into a power distribution block connected to the battery and just before the battery, we'll have the master kill and the fuse. So since this is going to the battery and the last thing out of this terminal will be the battery, we can just plug this in right there. We can plug the other wire in right here. Now, normally you just plug a wire down there uh, just so it senses voltage and then it'll kick the field on the alternator will start working But the main reason why I put this switch in is when I go to start it I can shut the alternators field off that way It just freewheels there and it'll be really easy just to give the machine a good pull and it'll start right up After the motor gets a little warmed up Then I can flick this switch and engage the field and start generating power but while I have this switch off since the uh, alternator won't be charging and there's a problem with the charging system, this light will come on. So whenever this light's on, we know the system isn't charging. Now as soon as we get it going, 
kick it on. This light shuts off. It starts generating power. Uh, I decided the way I'm going to measure the power on the go is I have this uh, battery voltage uh, digital gauge thing that I got off of uh, Amazon for like, I think I got it for like 10 bucks. But uh, it's been really handy. And we can wire this into this unit. And we'll just plug this straight into the battery and we can see how many volts we have. And that should be the whole setup right there. After we get all this going here, and uh, there'll be some type of power distribution block between here and this, and all like this mess of wires here, and then it runs from the other terminal here to the circuit breaker, straight into the battery. We're charging. So next week we'll probably hook this up to the lawnmower. I'll have to do a little bit of work on the lawnmower, get the uh, alternator mounted and we'll be able to shoot another video for next week's work workbench Wednesday. But until next time, build stuff and have fun.